So this past week, Elot Mazar, the great Israeli archaeologist, passed away, and she was a major contributor to the field of biblical archaeology, the history of the Jewish people, the history of the Jews in Israel. And, and a friend of mine uh, phoned me and asked about her contributions and the excavations of the city of David and, and finding Bule, the clay seals of Jewish kings and scribes and so on and so forth. He says, well, he says, doesn't this answer the anti-Zionists, the anti-Semites, the Palestinians who claim there was never a Jewish presence in Jerusalem? And I said to him, of course it answers it, but these people are not interested in truth. The vast majority of people who are anti-Israel, who are anti-Semitic, they're not interested in truth. They make claims about Israel committing genocide against the Palestinians, despite the fact that the Palestinian uh, population has grown by something like 328% over the past 10 years. I mean, not a very good, that's not very good genocide. And the fact that the IDF has the ability to flatten Gaza completely and has not done so. Uh, so they're interested in facts. And the people who claim that Jerusalem was not a Jewish city, I mean, seriously? So amongst the many finds that Eilat Mazar, Alea Hashalom, amongst the many finds that she found were inscriptions in Hebrew. Now, that's an interesting point. You see, you look at ancient inscriptions from 2,000 years ago in Israel, 2,500 years ago in Israel. The ancient inscriptions are in a language called Hebrew. Now, any Jew out there anywhere in the world will know that you go to a synagogue in Singapore, in Shanghai, in Frankfurt, in Buenos Aires, in Morocco, in Australia and in England, the language of the prayers, the Siddur, will be in Hebrew. So Jews all over the world are still using and have been using Hebrew for thousands of years. Think about it. Where did Hebrew come from? Which country? Did it come from Poland? No. Did it come from Russia? No. Did it come from Germany? No. Did it come from Morocco? No. Where did Hebrew come from? The origins of Hebrew are in the land of Israel. That should tell you something if you're interested in truth. Uh, but that should tell you something about the origins of the Jewish people. The fact that Jewish people all over the world are familiar with a sentence, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad, Hear, O Israel, Lord is our God, Lord is one. And that's in Hebrew. The fact that we have Hebrew names, the fact that we use Hebrew in our prayers, the fact that we use Hebrew in our study, and the fact that the inscriptions found in Israel from thousands of years ago are Hebrew inscriptions, that should tell you, if you're interested in truth, that should tell you that the origins of the Jewish people are the same place as the origins of Hebrew, which is in the land of Israel. Have a wonderful Shabbos. This is Mordechai Becher with the Gateways Parish of Love.